Hello everyone, it's Infinity Gamer here and welcome to this video where I'm going to be talking to you about portable terrain. Now I'm sure we've all been there where we've had a game at a local club, a friend's house or even a tournament and we've wanted to take our terrain with us and it's been a bit difficult because it's probably been MDF. Or you have been looking at the shelf space that your MDF terrain takes up and going, that's quite a, lo that's quite a lot of space that good collection of terrain can take. Luckily for me, I've received a box from Acid House Terrain, who do pre-printed portable terrain, and it is quite something. And in this video, I'm going to show you exactly what makes it special, a bit different, and why it might be perfect if you're limited for space or you travel around a lot with your sci-fi terrain. So this is what I've been sent. It looks like quite a big box, but everything that I am going to show you comes in this. And what's even better is it packs down into this as well. It's not one of those get it out of the box, never get it back in kind of situations. This is very much all the space that you need for the terrain I'm going to show you. So what is Acid House? Acid House is a terrain making company. They're doing another print run very soon, so you can get on board it even if it's showing not available because they're doing it soon. I think they've also got a new skin print coming out as well, so a new design. Although, the one I'm going to show you is actually really good, so even if they don't do a new design, definitely worth checking this one out. So what comes in the box? Well, you get a mat to play on, which is made of cardboard. In fact, all of this is. It's a lot thinner than the cardboard you'll be used to. So when you think cardboard terrain, you probably think the Corpus Belly 3 mil thick stuff that comes in the starter sets. This is a lot thinner than that, but doesn't matter because of how it's structured. So you get a slightly thicker cardboard play mat. That doesn't glue together at all. None of this terrain glues together. It actually just uses pressure of paper to stay together. It's kind of like really fancy origami. It's really cool stuff. And then the mat itself has these little clips that hold it together. The terrain, very easy. So the it comes in color-coded packs, as you can see here, where the different colors actually go together with like an internal fitting bit and an external bit. As you can see, they're all pre-printed, uh, pre and the quality of the print is exceptionally high. It is very detailed. It looks great up close. I've managed to pack it up, pack it down quite a few times. And another thing I've noticed is that there's been no fraying of the card at all. It seems to stand up quite well to being assembled and disassembled uh, multiple times, which is obviously a key component of it being portable, is that you are going to take it and, and do this several times. Uh, this set itself comes with quite a few buildings. Uh, there's uh, three or four bridges, uh, four bridges that come with it. There's four uh, towers that do quite a nice job of blocking line of sight. And then you've got the buildings that you know are of various sizes. So you've got some stuff that's really quite small, uh, which is perfect for just scatter terrain then you've got the bridges themselves and they've got printed ladders on the side so if you want to be able to climb up and down them you obviously can the thing is that they don't have doors or internal spaces so you can't go inside them but that's also because of the nature of the structure so assembling this terrain is very straightforward as i said there's an internal component and an external component you basically squish them well squish the internal component within the external component Put it down and then it will pretty much expand itself as you push it through like it's a very weird thing where it's so intuitive they do have youtube videos that show you how to assemble the train i didn't need them at all and you know me i don't use you i don't use tutorials uh, to assemble anything and so this is the litmus test is can you just pick it up and put it together this very much so in terms of the quality here are some really close up pictures of my models in amongst the terrain and if you weren't looking really closely, you probably wouldn't necessarily be able to tell that it was pre-printed cardboard terrain. It's that detailed. It looks amazing on the tabletop. And that's one of the things I love about this, is that if you can't be bothered to paint your own terrain, or you realise that you've probably got big ambitions but not enough time to make those happen, this is a great way for you to have some high quality, good looking, impactful terrain on the table with minimal effort from yourself. It goes up together really quickly. The whole table maybe only took me five, ten minutes to assemble once I got my head around how the, how the mechanism works. Packing down is even quicker. It all goes back into this box, which means that you can then just slide it onto a shelf. So as I said, it's very ideal, even if you're not looking at this for portable terrain. If you don't have a lot of space for your sci-fi terrain collection, this is a great option too because it packs down so small. 
but you can just slip it onto the table, put it on the uh, put it on the cupboard, and forget about it. It takes up about as much space as the game you're playing probably does. So a great example of multi-purpose terrain that is perfect if you can't have MDF for one reason or another, whether that is because of time, whether it is because of cost, whether it is because of space, or whether it is because you play at another location and you need to be able to take the terrain with you. This is a great solution. Now, obviously, if you do have time and MDF is your preference, you're probably not going to be swayed away from that, but I'm very glad I've got this for those occasions where we have club days, I can actually contribute the terrain without taking a big box full of MDF with me. Definitely check out Acid House Terrain, their website, their Kickstarter campaign, very worth a look. I was very intrigued with this when I first saw it on Instagram, I was very grateful to have the opportunity to try this out and have a look at it. Brilliant set, highly recommend it, depending on your circumstances. Give them a look and follow them on Instagram, follow them on Facebook and check out the website if you're interested in some portable terrain. That is everything I wanted to go through in today's video. Basically just opening your eyes to the world of portable terrain if you are not aware of it so far. Um, as Eric quite rightly said uh, when I messaged him about this, any piece of terrain is portable. If you try hard enough, true, this just doesn't require much effort to be made portable at all. So definitely get it if that's what you're after. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really do appreciate it. And check out Asa House Terrain when you get a chance. And I'll be back soon.